Good morning. So I have a couple of hours today to actually do some video editing. I haven't done anything for a while. Well, I have done some things, but I haven't liked them and I haven't put them up. I've got quite a few projects that I've recorded. Let's get on with the editing and then we can discuss today's project. So the video I'm editing is of my Turan, Turan, Turan. To ramp. So the video I've been editing is for my to ramper van. Yeah, I'm turning my Volkswagen Touran into a camper van. Well, kind of. I'm putting a bed in it. It wasn't a video I was planning on making. These things just occurred to me. Enjoy the video. If you've got any questions about the to ramper van, which may turn up in other videos in the future, uh, please leave a comment below. Thank you. So, here it is, cheap and cheerful piece of MDF, it's 18 mil, 6 feet by 2 foot, so it's probably about the same size as a normal camping bed, maybe even a bit longer, I know I've got camping beds and they're too long for me, I'm 6 foot. Uh, too short I mean. The plan is to let it rest on the seats that are folded down. We've got a towel on there and one unscratched. And to build a frame for this end. Put some memory foam on it. Then I got this side, it's got my window cleaner and stuff in it, which I can fill up with camping gear. So the idea is, is I, I'm going to do some work uh, for a couple of days away. Can't find any cheap hotels. Can't find B and B's. I've got a campsite set up, hopefully. So I've already just rolled up to the campsite and just camp in the back. And so let me show you what I'm building. I've done the first part of the frame. Uh, so this is a slight angle. So this is 260 mil. Uh, and that is 230 mil, that end, which gives you the, the right angle. Seems to be pretty firm. Now I want to rebuild this on this side and then join them together so it's like a crate. Uh, these are just bits of packing that I got from uh, maybe a washing machine. Of course, it's really bright today. Uh, and this is just some two by two, 50 mil was left lying around. So in reality, this is gonna cost me 25 pound because that's what I paid for the MDF. First thing I'm gonna do is cut this down so they're both the same length. As I say, this was washing machine packing. Waste not want not, recycle it. One piece longer than the other, so I'll cut that down now. The two sides of the crate is over here. It's pretty firm, but I don't want these moving, obviously. So I've got these pieces of wood here. Again, in the washing machine. And I'm going to connect them on the inside here and down here. Just to uh, kind of give it a bit of form, a bit rigid. And there it is, finished. Will it take my weight? That's the question. And the answer is yes, it does. Oh. Seems to be pretty solid. So let's see how it works in practice. Morning everybody, it is 2.55 a.m. Yeah, it is pretty early. I'm about to leave Newport. My journey, my journey is two hours and 58 minutes. So, I'll see you when I arrive. Stopped at Reading Services. There it is there. Stretch the old legs. Get ready for the last part of the trip. I'm an hour and a half in. Got an hour and a half left. So this is my destination. You see on the map here now. So hopefully when I get there, the sun will be up. Well, hopefully not, because I'm hoping to have a nap. But I think the sun will be up. Be able to have a look around. Well, I've arrived at my first destination, where I'm hoping to get an hour's kit. Just outside Chelmsford, Billericay area, West Hanning Field. I'm aiming for. Let's see how this bed works. So, seems to be taking my weight. Let's see how we do with an hour's sleep. Catch you later. I actually managed to get, I don't know, 10 minutes sleep and then a guy turned up in the car park 
with some pigeons. I haven't seen a guy release and race some pigeons for quite some time. So they're obviously, now there's still people around doing it. So it's quite a nice little car park uh, that we're in here. Maybe you'd like an aerial view. days uh, staying with a friend tonight and then tomorrow night um, I don't know a couple of options either sleeping here uh, I'm not sure how busy that road is but tonight or there's a campsite just down the road near Brentford um, I don't know uh, as you can see I don't have any curtains so <laughs> It's going to have to be pretty dark to um, be able to sleep, so, you know, see what happens. Don't leave me here. 